Hello! What's up, everyone? So I'm just here talking about a really fun trip I just had when I drove up to VidCon in Anaheim. That's the convention for YouTubers. I went for a few days and stayed in an Airbnb with a bunch of other online creators. There was Joe Cat, Dingo, and the Dan Plan crew. Most of you are probably familiar with Dingo, who makes Storytime, Life, and D&D animations, and Joe Cat, uh, who makes Monster Hunter, Crap Guide to D&D series. But then you got Dan Plan, which our audiences kind of don't overlap that much, but that's okay. If you aren't familiar with Dan Plan, they're a comedy group that make videos on improv scenario humor. I guess that's the best way to describe them. Go check their stuff out. They're pretty cool. We'd stayed together in a cozy townhouse. I roomed with Joe Cat, while Dan Plan had their own four-person bunks. Since I'm from Southern California, I had a car and could pick them up, which was, that was pretty cool. I got to drive them around and show them all the magical wonders of L.A. They even got to see LAX Airport. Several times, as I accidentally turned down the wrong lane and kept going back through the same terminal. Hello, thank you for driving me, and welcome to California. Outside you'll see the wonderful, lovely day, and on your left you can see what's probably a drug deal going down. Overhead you can hear a police chopper probably tasting an ounce of criminal on the run. And on your right there's a car which may or may not be stolen. I don't know why people say that SoCal is a barren wasteland. Look at that! A thriving plant over there! No, wait, no, that, that's, that's a dead one. Oh, what about that one? Nope, never mind, that's, that's also dead. Look over there! That's almost like three trees! Where would you find that many trees in one place? I think two of them might even still be alive! Our first day there, we went to an animator beach day. Got to talk to a lot of new people, but it's funny how our group showed up to the beach and we were just like, whoop, as we skittered around the major group in our own socially awkward bubble. Thank you to the people who approached us to talk. You have more courage than me. While they were at the beach, we got to swim in the water for like almost a minute before they skittered away. It's cold. Yeah. It's like really, really cold. Yeah, that's the beach in California. It's not very warm. We went to panels at VidCon, where they had brought in experts to talk about their experiences. A few of the panels I went to were pretty cool. Others were, uh, but overall, it was fun. Draw with Jazza had a great panel on vlogging. His tutorial panel was head and shoulders better than a lot of other panels I went to. You can definitely tell that this is a guy who makes tutorials for a living. The cliff notes for him was, one, when you make a vlog, try to do everything on the phone using software like Adobe Rush. You can clip the video, add frames, add music, basically a lot of the stuff that you'd expect to do on a computer. You can do it all on the phone and it saves you time. Two, keep the momentum up and make sure not to waste the audience's time. Three, make sure to turn on the volume adjustment that way the audio is all level. And he went through his different techniques. Shipwrecked Comedy had a panel on making videos on a budget. A few points on their advice was, one, a lot of the filming budget gets eaten by the locations. Try to film in fewer locations to save money. Two, sometimes you can get clothes and props from resale shops. They look beat up, but in a lot of scenes you kind of want clothes and props that look worn or old. Three, if you can't offer the people who work on the project more money, you can offer them flexibility. Like, if someone normally has a going rate, they will often have downtime between projects and working on a low-paying job is better than having no job. While we were at VidCon, we were a little bored, so we ended up playing a game, and the loser was going to have to go up to someone and randomly talk to them. I was the one who lost, which meant I had to introduce myself to a random group. I spent about five minutes just typing myself up. You got this. You don't got this. You got this. Oh, this is a terrible idea. No, it's going to be fine. Oh, it's not fine. And finally, panicking inside, I slowly shuffled my way up and over to a random group. When I was walking past, I noticed that one of the guys was shuffling some cards, which were in sleeves, and went into a deck box. <gasps> yes, a talking point. I play magic too. Hey, is that Magic the Gathering? Nope. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. I really should have left right there, but instead I just... Stood hanging out with them. Didn't really have anything to say about Yu-Gi-Oh. They continued talking like I wasn't there for, like, a minute or two. And then I just awkwardly, without saying anything, just quietly left. I just went back to my table. People are scary! Never again! And just took some time to recover from being mentally scarred. There's a few people who recognized us, and we introduced ourselves. It's pretty cool meeting some fans out there in the wild. <gasps> You're Dan Plan. I'm a huge fan. Really? I love you. <laughs> can, can you sign my thing? 
You think he's joking when he says that? I assure you. He's not. Later on, they took us out for Korean barbecue. It was my first time having it. What is this again? It's like it's small intestine. Small intestine. I have a pork. At the end of VidCon, we took a trip to Disneyland. Disneyland was shockingly fun. I have not been there since I was a kid, but it was great getting to see it all again with friends and hanging out with all these wonderful people. The group clicked together in like 10 minutes when we first met up at the airport, and from then on it was smooth sailing the entire trip. This is probably one of the, the top three most fun vacations I have ever had. Before we left for home, I managed to sneak in a game of D&D with the Dan Plan crew at 2 a.m. in the morning before we were supposed to fly out. What preceded was some of the worst rolling I have ever seen in any group, they just they could not roll above an eight for the longest time. It was a lot of fun, they were great players. Many of the really, really famous people at VidCon couldn't walk around the floor because otherwise a crowd that size would be considered a fire hazard. No, I wanna be super popular too and not be allowed to do things. Why can't I be a featured talent? <laughs> just give it till next year, buddy. You too can be a fire hazard. <gasps> really, you mean it? No, really. We could all be a fire hazard next year. Yeah. 